Miss Jamie here from Bud Warner Memorial Library with another Little Crafters at Home story time to share with you. This week we're going to be celebrating bunnies and chicks. They're out and about during the spring. So we have a very fun craft. We have a couple crafts at the library actually. And one of them is you take an egg, real or plastic, and you get to make different little animals that then sit on a little grassy stand. Oh, sticker fun, can't beat it. All right, so that is our craft this week. Be sure to stop in the library and pick that option up. We've got several. And let's go ahead and get started with our hello song. Ready? My hands say hello. My hands say hello. Every time I see my friends, my hands say hello. Good job. What about your elbows? My elbows say hello. My elbows say hello. Every time I see my friends, my elbows say hello. <laughs> and what about our eyes? Ready? My eyes say hello. Beep. My eyes say hello. Beep. Every time I see my friends, my eyes say hello. <laughs> All right, we're ready for our first bunny story. Little white rabbit let's see oh, there he is hopping can you hop like a rabbit Boing. little white rabbit hopped along when he hopped through the high grass he wondered what it would be like to be green green like the grass Oh, wait a minute. What color is our bunny? He's a green rabbit. I see other green animals too. What is this? A green turtle and this in the water. A green frog. And I see, what about this guy? A green grasshopper. Have you ever seen a green bunny? Let me eat it. When he hopped by the fir trees, he wondered what it would be like to be tall. Oh, whoa! Now he's as tall as the tree. I see his bunny feet, and way up here, I see his little bunny nose. Wow! When he hopped over the rock, he wondered what it would be like not to be able to move. There he is, he's a bunny rock. He's there in the sunshine and in the rain and when the sun goes down and when the moon is up at nighttime. He's like a rest, a restful bunny. When he hopped under the butterflies, he wondered what it would be like to flutter through the air. Let's see. Oh, he's a flying bunny. He's flapping his ears like they're butterfly wings. Can you flap your wings like a butterfly? Good job. So many beautiful butterflies, so colorful. When he hopped past the cat, he was too frightened to wonder anything. Uh-oh. So he turned around and hopped and hopped as fast as he could. He goes pretty fast. Soon, Little White Rabbit was home. He still wondered about many things. I see some other friends at his home. Yeah, do you see Mommy and some brother and sister rabbit? But he didn't wonder who loved him. Bunny kisses. Oh, that's fun. There they are sleeping, but oh, our little white rabbit, he's still awake, still wondering and curious and dreaming about everything he could do. What fun, little, little white rabbit. 
All right, I have a fun bunny song for us to sing. So I'm just gonna pop up over here and I hope you join me. All right, friends, let's sing our bunny song. If you're happy and you know it, hop around. If you're happy and you know it, hop around. If you're happy and you know it, and you really wanna show it. If you're happy and you know it, hop around. If you're happy and you know it, shake your bunny tail. If you're happy and you know it, shake your tail. If you're happy and you know it, and you really wanna show it. If you're happy and you know it, shake your tail. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your big bunny feet. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, and you really wanna show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle your nose. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle your nose. Hard. If you're happy and you know it, and you really wanna show it. If you're happy and you know it, wiggle your nose. <laughs> Good job, bunnies. Good job, bunnies. Did you shake that bunny tail? <laughs> All right, we are ready for our next story. This is Minerva Louise and the colorful eggs. Minerva Louise is a chicken and she's a little silly. So I hope you're ready for a silly story. She's finding a colorful egg hiding in the grass. Hmm. Let's see, there she is. She's smiling at us. Can we say hello to Minerva? Hello, Minerva Louise, hello. Eggs. Hmm. Minerva Louise loved the springtime. With all the colors, the farmyard looked fresh and bright. It does look pretty in springtime. The apple trees looked so beautiful, all in bloom. And so did the farmers. They are all dressed up. Hmm, maybe I'd look pretty too if I put on a hat, said Minerva Louise. Is that a hat? No, silly, it's a basket. <gasps> hey, who put an egg in my hat? You poor thing, where is your mother? What color egg did she find? A blue egg. Minerva Louise warmed up the egg with her fluffy feathers. Then she looked around. She couldn't find its mother anywhere, but she did find another egg. She worried that it might fall. It is high up there. What color is that one, Casey? A pink egg. She's very confused. She also worried that she might fall. <laughs> Some hen is forgetting her eggs, said Minerva Louise. Oh my goodness, she found. Let's see, I think two more. One, two, what colors? Yellow and blue. And I can't warm all of them by myself. She ran to the barn to tell her friends. Look, she said, I'm finding eggs outside and some of them are so cold, they're turning blue. Why do we think the eggs are colored? Yeah, did they decorate them? The hens grumbled at being woken up, but they were curious. No one had ever seen blue eggs before. They went out to look for the eggs but they were all gone. Do you think other people were looking for the eggs? Hmm. Where did those eggs go? Asked Minerva Louise, but the little brown bunny didn't seem to know. You see the little brown bunny? He's a chocolate bunny, of course he can't talk. And she couldn't get an answer from the baby chicks either. Those look like peeps to me. Marshmallows can't talk. <laughs> Wait, she said, look up there. 
it was an egg, but this one had spots and green stripes. And then all of a sudden, it was gone. A little hand had snatched it up. She's putting it in her basket. There were farmers all around, running and laughing and picking up eggs. The hens felt better. They were used to farmers picking up eggs. They went back to the hen house for a nap. But not Minerva Louise. She had found the perfect nest. She's laying in an Easter basket full of colorful eggs. That silly Minerva, she was so confused. She even tried to wear a basket on her head. Silly chicken. All right, my friends, thank you for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.